Have you ever gazed into a mirror and wondered, what color is a mirror really? If you're like most people, you might have thought it's just silver or white. After all, that's what we see when we look at it, right? But have you ever considered that what we see is not the mirror's color, but rather the colors of objects that the mirror reflects back to our eyes? Yes, you heard that right. The mirror is a master of deception, playing with light and fooling our perception. It's a clever illusionist, bouncing light rays off its surface and back to our eyes, giving us the impression of color. So the next time you look into a mirror, remember, it's not just a simple silver or white surface you're looking at. It's a complex interplay of light and reflection that tricks your eyes. So the color of a mirror isn't as straightforward as it might seem. But don't worry, we're about to dive into the science behind it. To understand the color of mirrors, we first need to understand a little about light. Light is not just one thing, but a spectrum of many different colors, each with its own unique wavelength. Perhaps you've seen a rainbow, that beautiful display of color in the sky after a rainstorm. That's light being separated into its various colors, each one a different wavelength. Now, when light hits an object, something interesting happens. The object absorbs some of these light wavelengths and reflects others. The colors we see are actually the wavelengths of light that an object is reflecting. For example, a red apple is absorbing all colors except red, which it reflects back to our eyes. Mirrors, however, are a bit of a special case. They are designed to reflect light very efficiently, bouncing back almost all the light that hits them, regardless of wavelength. So, if mirrors reflect all colors of light equally well, does that mean they're all colors at once? Not quite. If you've ever stood between two mirrors, you might have noticed something interesting. The infinite reflections seem to take on a greenish hue. It's not a trick of the light or your eyes playing games on you, it's actually the material of the mirror itself. Most mirrors are constructed from a type of glass called soda lime silica, a common ingredient in many of our everyday items. This particular glass, interestingly enough, carries a faint green tint. Now why does this matter? Well, when light bounces back and forth between two mirrors, a fascinating phenomenon occurs. Each time the light rebounds, it absorbs a tiny bit more green light from the soda lime silica glass. This process repeats over and over, with the green tint becoming more pronounced with each reflection. This subtle green tint is usually unnoticeable in a single reflection, but becomes perceptible in the endless reflections between two mirrors. So, in a sense, you could say that mirrors are in fact slightly green. But the color of a mirror isn't just about the materials it's made from. It's also about how our eyes perceive light. You see, the human eye perceives color through a process called color vision. This process allows us to distinguish between different wavelengths of light, which our brains then interpret as colors. So when we gaze into a mirror, we're not actually seeing the color of the mirror itself. Instead, our eyes are detecting the colors of the objects that the mirror is reflecting. In essence, the mirror becomes a canvas, its color constantly changing based on what's in front of it. It's like a chameleon, adapting its appearance to blend into its surroundings. It's an interplay of light, reflection and perception, a dance that happens in a fraction of a second, but has a profound effect on what we see. So, while a mirror may technically be slightly green, to our eyes, it's whatever color it's reflecting at the moment. That's the fascinating science behind the color of mirrors.